Hi friends, with the end of the year in front of us and a new year ahead, I thought it'd be fun to talk about how I set goals and plan for success in my photography business and in my education business. And so this is something I've been doing for years and I would love to bring you guys into this process. And along with this video, I have a freebie for you guys. So I will have a link below where you can grab the whole guide that I talk about here today. You can get your hands on it and go through it and set some goals in your own business yourself. So you don't have to take notes or try to figure out this whole guide to piece it together yourself. Just go ahead and download that when you're finished watching today's video. Okay, so this guide is basically broken down into four steps. And what I like to do as I'm planning for the year ahead, um, and this doesn't have to happen at the very beginning of a year, by the way, this could happen when you start or restart your photography business, or you just kind of need a little boost and um, you wanna revisit your numbers, revisit your goals, and think about where your business is going so that you can start to put some effort behind marketing and branding to really boost those goals, right? So I am a huge, huge fan of writing down my goals um, putting pen to paper and really thinking about where I want my business to go and also where my business has been. And so if you're like me, then you're going to love this guide. And there, I'm not going to get into all the stats, but there are so many statistics on how uh, exponentially more likely you are to achieve a goal if you actually write it down. And so that's why I made this guide and that's why I do this in my own business every single year. So I like to start out my goal planning with a reflection of where I've been. And I think that now, if you're goal planning at the end of the year here in December and thinking about the beginning of the year, it's gonna be important to go back in your client management software or in your planner or notebook, and really think about what was happening in January because that's almost a year ago and a lot has happened. And I think sometimes when we sit down and we think, you know, what have I accomplished this year? It doesn't really feel like a lot, but if you reflect on all the sessions you did, all the clients that you served, the education that you may have attended or learned at home, you've actually made a lot of progress. And so it's important to ask yourself um, what you've been doing over the past year, what's been working, and just as importantly, what has not been working. So some of the questions that I think are most helpful are, um, what are some things that you are most proud of that you accomplished over the last year? Where did I invest my time this past year? And what are some limiting beliefs that were holding me back over the past year? So this, these are almost like journal prompts, things that you could really you know, sit on and kind of chew on for a second and dig into. And I think that that's why it's so important that you print out this guide and get your hands on it and um, physically spend some time answering it because the gold is gonna be in your answers. Now in the next section, we go over finances and the products that you offer. And so we're gonna be breaking down what kind of profitability you had in your business, your cost of doing business, um, basically what was going on in the numbers of your business, and then what kind of products and services you offer and you know what price points you have those at and so it's really fun to just put this all on paper and see it in front of you as you're you know vision casting for next year it's important to know what products you offer what products are your most profitable products um, or services you know maybe it's albums and print products maybe it's portrait sessions and weddings right and so it's really important to sit down and look at that and tangibly have that written down before we go ahead and plan your goals for the next year after we identify the biggest money maker in your business and what were your most profitable months and marketing revenues, we're going to sit down and project your finances for the year ahead. Um, and there's so many questions that go along with this, but it's really simple. It's line by line, not super complicated, um, but you will have to have a little information in front of you as you go over the past year, of course, to know, you know, what did you make on portrait sessions and what were your prices and that kind of thing. And that's why I recommend going back in your client relationship management software I use HoneyBook personally, um, but if you don't use a software like that yet, you can just go back in your business account, tally things up, and make sure that those numbers are in front of you so that as you're projecting for the year ahead, you can dream and understand, you know, is this, you know, a two Xing my business? Am I three Xing my business? What are we asking here? And um, that's where I think it's really important to get tangible and real with your numbers. Make sure that you have your real business numbers in front of you as you're doing this. So the other thing that I like to do in this profit planning section is establish my business work hours because I know personally, I'm not going to be working a 40 hour work week. And so that's really important to put that on paper to know what days and times I'm gonna be working so that I can be realistic with myself about what I can actually get done, what's going to get my time and attention and what realistically just can't. 
So in the fourth and final section, you're going to do quarterly planning. And I like this a lot because it gives you an emphasis for each quarter of the year instead of feeling like you have this big number of, that you want to make in your business financially or maybe a number of weddings that you want to book for the overall year. It's kind of daunting. It's like, okay, January 1st, now I want 25 weddings but what do I do now? Now I think by breaking it down in quarters um, and having four quarters for your year, it actually helps you to focus on just the quarter that you're currently in and the goals that you have for that quarter. So I personally have quarters of the year that I'm focusing on booking and marketing myself for the rest of the year, booking out photography. Then I have quarters where I'm really focusing on um, relationship building, brand building, um, hiring on you know new second shooters or assistants, maybe growing my business in that regard. And in other quarters, I might be super focused on YouTube or press or getting into podcast interviews. And so instead of having these huge goals for the year, be goals that I think about at all times, I like to compartmentalize them into quarters. So I think that's really going to help you to break down your year ahead and think about what money you want to be making in your business, the clients you want to be serving and the goals that you want to reach. I hope you guys enjoy the guide. Be sure to download it if you do. Leave me a comment below letting me know what you think and maybe one of your goals for 2021. I would love to keep the conversation going. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I make videos just like this one every single week for photographers like you to grow not only in their technical skills, but as business owners so that you can become more profitable. I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.